Hey, so just an important announcement before we get started. This presentation would cover three things. So number one, the Playbot system. Number two, Wonder Labs Playbot Overview, Breakdown and Overall Data Analytics. And number three, the final of all is the overall results and future projection. And yes, you heard me right. I'm calling it a Playbot. And you might ask yourself, what is a Playbot? I remembered like at the last meeting, you said it was a chatbot. So that's actually all true. But what if I told you that what I have prepared and created is so much better and it really works well. So be sure to listen carefully from the very start until the end because this could be the best thing you've seen so far. So let's get started with the presentation. So it was really late at 12 a.m. midnight or so. I was brainstorming on how can I make the system work differently. I was testing different concepts, philosophies, methodology, frameworks, ways that I could set apart the Royal Messenger system from the rest. Now the reason I was doing this is because Mr. Kevin mentioned something interesting in the last meeting. And it was somewhere under the lines of chatbots are getting saturated. So of course, as a marketer, hearing that bugged me in a way, because one, it's true. But most importantly, the second one of all is the question that bids an answer. What can I do differently? And in that moment, I believe something miraculous happened. It was like manna from heaven. So with my pen and paper, I constructed the exact system on the spot. And here's just proof of that. And this brand new system is called the playbot system. So this differs from a chatbot because honestly, a chatbot lacks personality, interpersonal communications, and overall humanity. In the case of a playbot, when the customer enters the bot, they are greeted with what I call a playbot agent. So this playbot agent mirrors a real person and especially your dream customer. Attributes such as your age, personality, gender, beliefs, and lingo basically the way they talk. So making the playbot system even more realistic as possible can be done by sending them personal GIFs, recorded voiceovers, and also personal videos. So these are just a few advantages of a playbot compared to a chatbot. So number one, the playbot can act as a salesperson. Now, if you know anything about the rule of selling, you know that the person has to first like and trust the salesperson before it can further like and trust the company or the products. So the biggest problem of using a chatbot is it can't act as a salesperson because it's inhuman and people can't relate to a system, an automated system. It just doesn't feel natural. So we know that every customer has a certainty scale. We don't know where exactly they are at that scale, but this is the scale that they have in mind to make a buying decision. This is actually told by the Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort, and he called this the three tens. Now the job of the playbot is to gain the trust and certainty of the customers, move them to a 10 on the straight line, lowering their action threshold, and boom, they're actually sold. Number two, it can act as their friend. And this is really important as being able to relate to a person and genuinely feel like the other person care, it speaks volume. And you'll see later on in Wonder Labs Playbot, it builds massive report, being able to cold read a person, and especially AI integration of personalization. Number three, it acts as your tour guide. So compared to a chatbot, so chatbots would normally greet you, tell you who they are, and then you're free to look around. But when it comes to a Playbot, they would greet you personally, have a mutual exchange, but most importantly, guide you by the hand, which means pacing and leading. Next, we're really in the crux of the system. I'd like to introduce to you the Ursa model. Now imagine four separate domino blocks, having the letters I, R, S, and A above them, placing them on a scale, having on the left, prospects, and on the right, customers. 
And essentially, your prospects have to move from each block and each block builds from one another, resulting in them being a customer. Now, the question would be, what are, you know, I, R, S, and A? What is URSA? To tell you frankly, it's actually called intrigue, report, sell, and attract. A perfect visual representation that I could think of to show the magnitude of the system would be the URSA Hourglass Framework. So what you're seeing is that visual. You have the prospects going through the KLTB process, also known as the bias process, and being funneled down to becoming your customers and referrals. So what you're seeing is the disclosing phase, which means the place that we give maximum value, attention, honesty, and peak interest to our customers. Moving along, let's go to intrigue, the first stage. So you have a five second window to get their attention. And as Gary Vee said it, attention is the new currency. So in the intrigue stage, it would consist of bait, line, and hook. It's unpredictable. We make the customers curious. And a few pattern interrupts. Second stage, the report building stage, also known as the likability factor. When it comes to report, the biggest truth is we like people who are like us. So ever heard a person says, this person just gets me? So this can be done by one, cold reading, two, utilizing the prime and echo effect, and finally, conversational writing. So it's mostly social psychology. And this creates a us versus them frame. So now we're in the closing phase, which means that we are now being able to take control of the conversation to influence them on their buying decision or even leading them on taking action. So the third stage is the selling stage. So what we're doing is we're creating a need and we're presenting a solution. So before that, you can see on your screen, there's a UN and UN on the desire or need and closing line scripts. This is just because it's still in testing and I'm still literally making it perfect. But essentially what we're doing is we're creating a need and we're literally closing them in the bot itself. So we're not going to be closing them, but the bot is. So, so we're lowering their action threshold and we're giving social proof. Now the last stage is the attract stage, which means building a culture around your brand. So you will end up having what I call your dream 100, which means the people that are loyal. And for those that are, they are able to share your bot with others by using what I call incentivizing and the good gift method. So when it comes to closing the book and ending it on a high note, you can see that it's still on UN, which means it's still in on the testing phase. But overall, when it comes to the track stage, it's like ending a chapter of a novel. And when the person ends that chapter, he or she tells everyone that it was the best read. And basically, that is the Ursa Hourglass Framework. Intrigue, Report, Sell, and Attract. So I didn't want to release this yet, but this is just a sneak peek. And this is what I call the Tier 2 Hourglass Framework. This is what happens when you flip the hourglass upside, upside down. And what you have is now you have your customers. But now you're building much more on the KLTB process. And they're literally becoming more loyal customers and loyal referrals. And they're literally presented with another set of URSA. But this time, it's even deep, deeper. So literally, they're going into a rabbit hole. But again, this is just for future projections. Okay, great. So we're in the bot. Right now, you're seeing the intrigue stage. And right now you're seeing a, a bot naming system. Basically, you can name your bot whatever name you'd like. But for me, I'd like to call it Sarah Bot. So next is the intro to conflict. Now, intro to conflict is just a personal belief. And this actually gives my play bot, like literally your play bot, um, the option to actually be a person that they could relate. And this is just a conflict that rised up. So, you know, it actually is kind of funny. So next we're in the report stage. So as you can see right now, it's literally going to the introduction to um, personal questioning. 
So now what we're doing is actually we're building report with the play bot. Like literally the play bot is building report with S, I would say. And she's actually asking what's your favorite color? And I said pink. And it's actually being an AI knowing what color it is. If it's pink, then she will say like something along with the line like, you know, I like pink too. If it's not, then she would still mention that it, her favorite color is pink. And this is also really cool. Whatever you type here, like in here, like either it's a goldfish or a dog or something, it will always pop here, like pop up here. And it's actually an API. I'm using an API. So that is cool. Okay. The other one right now is um, I'm choosing the option to have a nicknaming system also. So, you know, you can name yourself whichever you want. So right now I'm just going to call myself by the name of Dylan just because, you know, my first name is so long. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, this is the interesting part. So again, we're going back to in we're going back to intrigue. So we're building again intrigue. And he said, "Hey, I just received a text from Mr. Kevin. He's actually my boss. And now they can literally start a tour." So when you're starting a tour and you're actually seeing a GIF, you know, beautiful GIF, and it says you're above the clouds, soaring to your destination. And then bam, they unlocked a checkpoint, a pivot stage. So whenever they restart the bot, they will not go through the report or intrigue building stage. They will go here. And I must say, this is still a basic bot. So, you know, when it comes to advance, it really has. Okay, so introduction to Wonder Home. Right now we're pivoting. So we're pivoting and now you're in the Wonder Home section. So pivoting means you're literally pivoting into another block. So right now, you know, we're in the customer support question you can see that okay right now i'm clicking on um the rename section so when it comes to literally be rena renaming you can actually rename um two which is one you can rename yourself or the other one you can name your bot again so you know it's it really builds on you know personalization and literally ai integration so you know, people could relate and people could just have fun with this. I mean, yeah, that's why it's actually called the play bot and not necessarily a chat bot. So when I clicked on rename myself, you see that Sarah bot sent a GIF and I made that in purpose. I made that in purpose. So it feels like, you know, it's naturally a person. Okay, this is my favorite block of all, the mystery report. Now you'll see why. Yep, this is the power block and it's actually called the report read. So basically what this is, is actually a survey. You know, it's actually a survey. I mean, yeah, it's hard to believe that it's actually a survey, but what a report read is, it's actually cold reading a person. It builds on intrigue, but it's also a survey in a way. But the thing about this survey, it's so well hidden. I mean, it's not well hidden, but it's so smart that it doesn't actually feel like a survey. It feels like people are going here to be able to um, get a reading on them like literally a cold read. They want to know what kind of person they are. And this is the ending finale, the reward, good gift method, and incentivization. And yeah, you see that? That's literally the coolest thing, having that effect on um, Messenger. And now, boom, you're completed. So now you can see the result, and this is what you're um, waiting for. So right now, I'm lit this is all like AI integration, so you're a wonder diva. You know, and it's based on the answers they give. So Dylan, I'm guessing this is you. You're a wonder diva, which means I can tell you are. And this is where the cold read is. Now, if you don't know what the cold read is, a cold read is necessarily when you ask a person certain questions, they give you certain answers, but then you can literally know much more about them, like in deeper value than they actually could. And this is actually cold read just by knowing certain answers and literally can cold read them on the spot. So yeah. Literally, thanks for participating in uh, Mystery Beauty. So it's all done. And now, okay, now this is the track stage which I'm talking about. It's share, rate, and survey completed. So they completed the survey. So, okay, introduction to Wonder Lab, also known as pivoting again to the Wonder Lab section. So there's actually, um, I think it's five. There's five sections here. Okay, number one, okay, let's go to the cinema first of all. So we're going we're going to the cinema. So get your pop on. Let's get ready. And what you're see, it's actually a, it's actually an about a section. The only reason I call it the Wonder Lab section is just because of the method incentivization. 
which means, you know, more chocolate, less spinach. There's actually power when you call it a cinema. There's literally less power when you call it a, um, you know, a, about this. Okay, so this is the selling stage, product menu, and edu edutainment, which means literally we are actually um, encouraging them to even learn about the products as well as browse through. As you can see, everything has a buy now, but most of it has a learn more so they can learn more about the products. So yeah, like literally clean cut and basically um, I must say I had a lot of things to do here like optimization over optimization and like even um, the images I had to do it right. So here you can actually watch a promo and then um, like bam the video is um, it's playing now. Okay, so now this is the FAQ meaning frequently asked questions. So welcome to Wonder Labs FAQ. So I have three open hours, um, location, and um, contacting an agent. So right now I'm pressing check hours. So literally got that from um, Wonder Labs, literally on um, Facebook page. That as well, actually the location. I got it from the Facebook page. What you can see is actually the location. And when you click get directions, it's actually opening up a web view for literally them to go and you know have the gps so right now i'm contacting an agent and you can see it's actually austin lim i'm literally uh, i'm literally inserting him there and you know there's his phone and there's his email as well okay so this is the intrigue stage personalization and achievement it's actually called the wonder lab album so welcome Dylan, you're now in the Wonder Lab album. Now what I don't mention is you can actually unlock all of these promo materials when you actually went to um the product store. When you actually went to the product store, you can actually unlock all of this. Okay, yeah, and now it's playing. Wonder, wonder, daddy, wonder, 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 daddy. wonder, wonder, daddy, wonder, 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 so basically, there's some um, three videos. Basically, Well Nature, um, Black Rice, and Wonder Devil. So that's just like the three things they can unlock. And you know, it just gives incentivization. I mean, it's like gamifying the system basically, and it's really interactive. Okay. So last up, we have the follow-ups, which is called the OTN rule and story progressions. So this is where you can actually check when okay so that's actually so the okay i'll I'll, re I'll rewind the last one because that's important um let me rewind that okay so this is important the otn also called the notify me now i did mention you know in the last video that i mean even the meeting that you know when it comes to the broadcasting it's always like one times in one time in 24 hours right well, actually, in the like literally this year, they changed Facebook changed its policy, and whenever you want to market or send a message, like literally beyond the twenty four hour frame of them interacting to your bot, you have to let them know that you have to be they have to be notified so that you can actually follow up. So that's again another rule of compliance that needs to be followed. Okay, so this is the data <laughs> data overview. So I know, you know, I'm actually using ManyChat. I'm not using ChatFuel just because you will see like the power of ManyChat over ChatFuel, why I really like this platform. And plus it's actually cheaper. Right now you're actually seeing 43 members, um, including my group as well, you know, me and my group members. But um, I, I literally had to personally invite them. You know, this couldn't be public because, you know, I'm not Wonderlab. So I had to personally um, invite these people so this 43 it consists of you know me and my group members my mentors um like brick and mortar business owners lecturers teachers and also like government servants so um yeah so that's basically just it and you can see here the language is 76 percent english there's like malay nine percent uh 19 percent and chinese five percent when you see the gender it's mostly 63 percent female because you know it's wonder lab right male 35 percent and the other two percent is you know data can't uh the data can't really um you know facebook can't really reach that data okay so this is the welcome message intrigue point so what we're seeing now is actually the backbones of how i did um how i did it 
So right now you're actually seeing there's sent 45 times this is being sent. So 45 time, uh, 44 times actually people actually went to this. And you can see there's 34 respondents. So right now you're actually seeing what they um, what they named your bot. So it's actually cool to see what they named your bot. Like some of them have, so basically I name it Sarah. But a lot of people name it like a lot of funny names as well, actually. And I think, um, yeah, Milen is naming it by herself. But, you know, some of my friends name it by me. Okay, so now we're going to um, the report building point, which means the report building stage. And you can see that sent 39 times. And within this block, there's actually, um, I would say, action tags. So that's why you can see, like, unique subscribers. So every, like, 43 people that went into there, they're actually been subscribed to this um, report building stage. So we know they're actually going through. And not only that, but you can actually see click-through rates as well. So very detailed analytics, you know, you can actually see this for yourself. You can go through here and this is just it, the building stage again, asking for your favorite color and we can see the respondents. So when we see the respondents, you know, a lot of people um, are um, answering. And again, um, Milan is, uh, I don't know, she's too ambitious. Uh, she put in so many colors, but the bot would just like mention all that colors as well. Wonder Lab in this block, it's actually sent 39 times, and the unique subscriber section is um 11. So basically, um 11 people went through here. But you know, it's actually, and you can see here, yeah, OTN two p. It's it's sent by two people, and it's sent to two people, and two people actually subscribe to this. So basically, it's yeah, it's actually like a funnel system almost in the bot. You know, you're not going to get everyone. But you're only getting people that are actually wanting it and is qualified. And you can see when it comes to the survey, most people actually click on the survey. What I really like about this is because um, it doesn't actually feel like a survey. It actually feels like a report read. And when people click this, they want to gain something rather than to give. So, you know, when it comes to survey companies to have it all the time surveys you know they're actually taking taking data and taking and taking and taking but when it comes to like literally this survey we're like we're building intrigue we're building report we're building cold reading we're giving them three times and in exchange they're just giving us data and um oh yeah i must mention as well this is so powerful just because um you all of this data can be extracted to Google Sheets. And when you have in Google Sheets, you literally can see all the respondents, emails, names, um, their answers. Also like most importantly, the budget, yeah, the budget of them being, buying the face mask. And what you can do is you can extract that, become an, like an Excel file, and you can put that in, like literally slap that in Facebook Ads Manager. And when you slap that in Facebook Ads Manager, now what you have is um, a cost-effective, like literally custom audience where you can market to. Facebook will search for people that have the same um, interests as those people are, same budget, same in income, and then they can actually market to that. And it's actually really cheap um, targeting. So that's again, another cool feature. Hey, so this is just my closing remarks and my final words. So this isn't scripted and anything like that. Um, I'm actually still editing the footage right now for it to make it into the presentation. So um, I would just say, you know, I'm really grateful and thankful. You know, if this didn't happen, then maybe even the Playbot system didn't, you know, it's not going to be created. Um, I, I would say another thing is when it comes to um, the compliance and in terms of service of Facebook, that's why I um, I really plan to guide you personally on that because I think there's a lot of things that you should know and that you should comply with so that, you know, your bot is safe. But, you know, don't worry about it. I'll personally, um, you know, guide you on that. And um, another thing I would say is there's actually a growth tool, one in the ManyChat where, where you don't, it actually enables you to um, grow your audience without like literally spending on ads or literally um, not having even an audience online. And if you have a brick and mortar business, it works well because you can set it up on your offline store. So that's actually pretty cool as well.